Hello there people, good evening, good evening. We actually found a game and the queue time was I think two minutes. So that's pretty good, that's, that's pretty pretty good. We're gonna play Shaman because as of, as of late <clears throat> I really enjoy Shaman. I need to like play her more often because I have eight reps on Shaman but I played eight reps on her like the day she came out. I, I like, that was when, when Tribute um, came, came out as well and they had like a double XP event and then if you played Tribute against bots um, you could end a game in 2 minutes and like 2 minutes and 30 seconds so you would grab all the flags, chump them into your spawn and then you won the game in, in, in under 3 minutes and you got like a thousand XP or more for one game so like you could farm really fast if you had a four squad uh, four stack so that's how I grinded my eight reps not all of them but Round one. but like some of them so I don't actually have too much experience with shaman <laughs> I didn't, it's not the next punish I know. I, I, I tried to cancel that. He tried to do that to do the uh, the heavy backwards. He tried to whiff the heavy backwards. The max punish for Shaman is a left throw or right throw into a side dodge heavy and then you can decide if you want to like take the normal heavy into a bleed or the unblockable, which is a lot of damage but no bleed. <laughs> was not fast at all. What do you mean? Dodging on indicator. Oh, the guard break one ability for her, for her is trash. I thought I, I was so sure that heavy is gonna go through. <laughs> Shaman's guard break one ability is really bad. Like you're like almost done with your heavy and you still get grabbed out of it. I don't know if, you, if if I cancel it into a bleed if that counters the guard break, but I doubt it. I... yeah. That's my shaman experience. I parried that! Why? Why did she bite him? What? Was he still bleeding? I didn't pay attention to his. Oh yeah, I bled him when I was like out of stamina, right? Round four. That was that was odd. This guy plays assassins only with like really fast attacks because he has like a slightly higher ping than normal. Oh, almost dodge attacked me. He almost dodge attacked me. I tried to cancel it. I don't have the timing down yet. I thought I paired that. Good parry. Good, good, good parry. <sighs> His lights are way faster than usual because of the, the 40 ping. Like they're still reactable to some degree, but they're still fast.
Hmm. I hate Sheldon, dude. What is he doing? <sighs> nice one. His lights are so fast, not gonna lie to you. His lights are insane. That was so predictable. Holy shit. He dot attacked on Indicator once before. So, I... I was confident that... And there was like almost no risk to it to faint and wait for his reaction to my faint. That was a tough. That was tough, dude. Shaman is still still nice. All right. I kind of want to find somebody else. Um, but yeah, shaman, shaman, shaman. The only the really the only thing I don't like about her is the the heavy. Like how long it takes. Um, like how long your guard break vulnerability is on the heavy. Like that's the only downside. But I need to try to like cancel her, cancel my heavy. If I if if I go for the parry and I see them faint, I I need to spam the the bleed cancel. Maybe that's will I can counter the guard break. Not sure though, really not sure though. We can try. But the cool thing about shaman is that she also has a really cool option select bait, like PK has when people. When people know you option select them and then they want to bait it out, with Shaman it's actually way safer, or it's also safe. Because if they feint an attack and you go for the parry and they wait and they want to parry your attack, you can cancel that and you can cancel the bleed in any direction. Not like PK where it can only can be cancelled to the top. So, but Shaman's top cancel is faster than her side cancels, I think. I think her top cancel is like slightly faster, like four, four, four thirty, and her other cancels are five hundred. I think, yeah. But, but then you can also choose like if you play against someone and you know he like, he you you know like he know you want to, um, bait out his option select, but you know he's gonna cancel it and then you. Faint an attack, wait for his option select, but he heavies, and then you wait for the bleed cancel, and like it's a, it's a nice mind game. And Shaman also is not like a stupid like bash spamming character. Like you can't tackle people, but the tackle is not insanely good. Um, the tackle is not insanely good, and it's really punishable. Like really, really punishable. Oh, there we go. There's the Lawbringer. Didn't didn't take long to find a lawbringer. <laughs> Rep fifty, let's go. The good thing about the tackles now, I can I think I think Shaman can actually punish the shove. If I can't dodge attack the shove, I think I can bait the shove and then tackle him again. How did that... How did that... What is up with this game? Jesus, what was that? I thought I deflected that. To the top. I knew he was going to top light and I, I thought about... I thought about parrying it, but I thought maybe if I deflect it, I can like smoothly go into the bite really fast. But I shouldn't deflect. I have no clue about the, about the timing on the top for the deflect. No clue. Way too slow. Uh, stamina. That was weird. Holy. That was really weird. All 
I can still get a heavy here. Never mind, the game just cucks me, dude. Okay, cucked him as well. I buried that? <laughs> oh, that's fine. You can't do anything about it here. Can't do anything about Oh, I buried- I knew he was gonna go for the light. Like, the safest way to get the top light as Lobinger is to feint a side heavy into the top light. And after he, like, Round he fainted three. into a side light and then he fainted again and I, I knew the top was coming, but it's so, it's so fast. Like, the animation is just freaky. Oh, catched him. The nice thing about it is just 50 damage. No, no, no. Victory. That's the that's the glorious thing about Shaman. Like, Lobinger has so much HP, but Shaman's bind does 50 damage. So it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like you're you're you have to chomp him forever. With with like PK for example, if you play PK and you have to like chip him down, which takes forever. Yes, it works. Okay. Oh, you whiffed the light. Fifty damage, dude. Nice. Oh, come on, game. Come on, game. Give me a break. Yeah. That was that was a nice charge there. I like how he was like running straight at me from like this direction and then when the impale hit me, it just charged me to the wall. I don't think the door is open, so you could fight up there. Top light is just broken, dude. It's just broken. GG. Holy. These games are close as hell. These games are really close. You have to th side throw, but I have to practice it in, in like training the auto stamina punish because <laughs> I mean I, I did it there, but I still need to practice it. I think the I think the dodge attack is more damage than the jumping attack so but it still worked out I would have been mad if I fucked up that punish but hey we succeeded it was a close really close game but we got it in the end we we only got it because he fucked up his impale like he tried to do his impale thing again and he got out of stamina for it and then he panic dodged like there was there was no reason for him to dodge because even if I tackled him, I would have gotten max a top heavy against the wall, but then he would have gotten his stand back probably and could fight like it was not worth the risk, in my opinion, for him to dodge. It's like with Raider sometimes, when when you have the health for it, and the Raider gets his like his his light attack when you're out of uh, when you're out of stamina, 
and your stamina is almost about to come up, I would rather try to go for the like last frame parry or don't go for the parry at all than to like dodge his unblockable because if he gets a guard break, he gets what like 90 damage or or he gets a stupid amount of damage if he gets the guard break into an auto stand punish. And if you just take the top heavy air that unblockable, it's what 50 <clears throat> if you don't like max last frame period. So same same goes for shaman. <clears throat> she gets like a top heavy when there's a wall or like a zone which costs a lot of stamina or just a double light. But if you dodge and she gets the guard break, she gets the whole package like double heavy into bleed or heavy into unblockable into a possible bleed, which can be blocked, but it's still <clears throat> still a bleed. What's what's her wait? Um <clears throat> Perk definition. A hammer. Your next attack deals 30 more damage. That's actually nice. If you... <clears throat> if, if you kill someone... If you kill someone and then somebody else gets a bleed on, on a person... And you can... You, you, you land your bite as your first attack. And then the bite does like... 55 uh, the 65 damage yeah 65 damage like something like that I don't think exactly 65 but I'm not the best with with math I mean I can do math but it's not my, my favorite thing to do in the world and I rather just oh I could play black prior I played like I played one game of black prior which didn't go well because I didn't know the inputs at all, but I'm I'm gonna do a Black Prior video <laughs> and see how far it can go. But I don't th I don't think it's it's gonna. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be fun definitely, but we can see how salty we can make some people with it. I can get Kito also to rep one at least. <laughs> or Kong. I don't. I don't want to play Kong. Kong. Kong is just too unfun. Like he's he's also a defensive character, but a boring one because you actually don't have an offense. You have so many tools to defend yourself, but your offense just is so one-dimensional. It's like it's like Hito, where you heavy and then you kick faint. And that's your entire offense. It's it's a good offense, but it's just really, really one-dimensional. With Warden, it's a little bit more... It's... What's the word to describe it? It's different with Warden because you have... You can ch have, you have more options for your offense and you don't need to commit to an attack to go into your offense. And you have a nice unblockable as well, which can be cancelled really late. Shaman's unblockable cancel is not the best. Like it's not like Kensei level or Warden level, but it's definitely It's not bad. Like you can cancel pretty early or like mediocre, but it's not like the Kensei cancel where people like where the, the parry window is like right there and then you cancel it. Like that's one. that's not the case with shaman. You can max last frame parry her really easily. Okay. I tried to cancel it again. Yeah, he shouldn't do a light. It's just. Why did he... Why did he do a light? Victory. Hmm. Like, th does he think he can crush encounter my unblockable? Or was he just really smart? And he read into what I'm gonna do? Maybe he just option selected me with a light. And that was really, really, really smart. I 
He just light attacks. He just light attacks. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Is he gonna stand in his stance forever now? I think so. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yes, he's gonna light attack if I feign something, but he actually inputted the light before I fainted, like, slightly, so... I tried to cancel my heavy, but it was like, he didn't, he, re he didn't react, he, like, lighted slightly after I fainted my heavy. Again. How do you like me now? Fuck. <laughs> he lights out of neutral, which is funny. The neutral lights are funny. <laughs> like, as much as I hate the, the concept of Highlander's, like, backroots into light, because that's his way to, like, safely go into his mix-up, but if you don't do it, it's it's even worse than than to do it, you know? Like, to just light attack out of neutral is just... Oh, oh timing. Whew. Okay. Victory. I think it's actually pretty stupid how Shaman can just side attack him. And like it doesn't matter what he what he does. If he if he commits to the kick, I get my punish. If he com if he cancels the kick into the grab, I get my punish. Like as much as I don't like Highlander, and but it still shouldn't be a thing because I don't have to think about anything. Like I don't have to think about the mix up that he does because my side attack just cancels like what beats all of his mix-ups out of the kick like that's just not good even his unblockable where i think no I, I think he can faint his unblockable fast enough to punish me but he can't go for the kick at all which is not really fair <sighs> because shaman's dash attack is so fast i think shaman and i'm pretty sure shaolin have the fastest the fastest dash attacks so i think only these two can really cancel beat up uh, beat <laughs> the beat the hell Highlander mix up i think every other assassin has a slower dodge attack but shamans is definitely on the faster side so yeah that was just not a good matchup i think highlander has a lot of a lot of bad matchups Nabushi is also horrible for Highlander. Nabushi is really, really good against Highlander. As long as you keep your stamina. And I think Zheng Jun is also really good against Highlander. I think a lot of characters are just really good against Highlander. <laughs> like Highlander is just really good in 4v4. That's like they Highlander has the same problem as Nabushi. If they if they buff him in any way. That makes him better. He's just gonna be a must pick in force in competitive, but he's just not that crazy viable in one v one. But they can't really buff him, and they don't give a f they don't give a damn about one v one. So they won't buff him in, in a way that will make him better in one v one, but not better in four v four. Same goes for for Nobu. Like they're not gonna buff her because she's she's fine in four v four. And there are ways to buff Nobu in 1v1 without making her stronger in force, but they're not going to do it. And Highlander has the same problem. Huh. But I mean, Lawbringer is really good in 4v4 and 1v1. It's just that Highlander is uh, Lawbringer. The problem is that his offense isn't really that great. 
but he's just really, really frustrating in 4v4 and 1v1 because of his big health pool and good defensive tools. Like, the shove is just, just really, really good as a defensive tool. <laughs> Same for Yorm, actually. Like, he's... Just he, she is good in force or okay in force, but like just not good in one v one. But they won't do anything about him in one v one. But we shall see. Are they releasing a new hero anytime soon? I don't. I don't think so. Right, Yorm. Yorm's release was just like last month. It feels like forever already, but I wish I wish the new season was here. Not for not for the new hero, like fine. I hope the new hero is just not a heavy. So not a not a hype armor spamming not a hype armor spamming how should I how can I put this lightly? Like the last characters they released weren't you know, top notch for the game, like Hito, BP, and this girl. But I don't think they're releasing any more heavies. I hope they're gonna release some. She's a heavy, heavy, heavy. Like they just released heavies only. And Shaolin is a hybrid, even though he's like he's like they they, they released two assassins, and he is Zhang Jun is more of a hybrid, and then he is Tiandi is really like a Vanguard. Yeah, he, he he fits well into the Vanguard world, but I don't think Shaolin counts as a as a hybrid in my opinion. So I hope they release either a assassin or a hybrid. I hope I hope a hybrid or a vanguard. We'll see. <sighs> Maybe they release an assassin with a lot of hype armor. <laughs> that would be nice. They just release an assassin with hype armor on everything. I mean, Orochi like Zerker has a lot of hype armor, and Orochi has hype armor on his heavy deflect, but nobody ever does that. So. That's okay. And I don't think any other assassin has more high bomber. Right? I don't think so. He's he has a really a really nice HDD HDD memory. Hey. We 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 did it. I really enjoy fighting Kensei's. But not too many people play Kensei because Lobbinger exists and... Ew. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I life sealed up to almost full HP again. Round two. F with these lights, like almost to full HP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't edge walk me. Oh no. Ow. No, he figured me out. Oh, the parry! Oh, such a good parry. Nice. <laughs> because he fainted his heavy, I was expecting him to, like, go for my heavy, but he actually waited. He's a patient one. <laughs> the second bite was just... Because he dodge attacked the first time, I was hoping for him to, to not, not dodge attack again. Oh yes, the nature's wrath. I paired that. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that still catch me. Ooh. Oh, that still got me. Dead. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, it's starting to get colder. Like a lot colder. Round four. Which is nice, but I need to get used to it because my hands get colder as well. I tried to do a dodge attack, but it just didn't. I don't know. I, I, th I thought I side throwed him, but like it did, like a weird. I'm gonna practice it in 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 in, in training <laughs> to get it done once. So hey, he's he 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 ain't gonna rematch me. <laughs> he ain't gonna rematch me. But hey, if you like this amazing shaman gameplay. Um, make sure to dislike the video as always and I will see you next time.